Hey, welcome back to the building tip series. And in this biomes build tip, we are going to be doing the crimson. I will be doing the corruption next. So if you have any requests after that, please put them in the comments because I like to read them. So we've got some floating banners, a cactus, another way of doing trees and a nice palette for your builds. I know that I've already shown the floating banner before and that trick you can do, but seeing I've got a lot more viewers now, it is something that not many of you know how to do. If you do end up enjoying this video though, maybe do consider subscribing if you're not already and also like the video to help boost it through the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, I really hope you do enjoy and let's get into the builds. So the first tip, the floating banners, one of the easiest tips on this list. You only need four things, whatever banner you want to make float, um, teleporters and chests and platforms. That's all you need. So let's go up here. We're going to place some platforms up into the sky. Then I'm going to go across so that we can place our teleporter. Then we're going to put a chest and we're going to break all of the platforms. There you go. Now, what you want to do is you want to place your banner that you want to make float. Then what we're going to do is we're going to break the top right corner. This one right here, you're going to break that. And once you've broken that, you will see that the teleport stays. And so does the banner. Now we're going to use an ice rod and hit it by the side and I'll break the teleporter, but not update the banner. There you go. Now time for the cactus, and this is even easier than the one before. You only need two materials for this one. Technically three items, but only two materials. So we're going to start by going up. Oh wait, nope, I'm using deep red paint. Oh yeah, you also need a paint, which is deep red paint. You don't have to though, that's optional. But we're going to go up a few blocks with crimson block. Well, not crimson, you know what I mean. Crimson sand like block. So, then what we're going to do is we're going to get some deep red paint with our rich mahogany leaf living wand and we're going to hammer these into small flowers. This is also optional and I'm going to actuate all of this and there we go. A lovely tall cactus. Let's move on to the next one. Now it's time for the tree. I like doing trees quite often and not many people know how to do them properly. Oh, I mean, you can do it however you want, but this is how I like to do it. So I'm going to be doing this every build tips, showing you a different way of doing a tree for each biome. So this one, we're going to be using rich mahogany living wood, as I always do. One of my favorite types of wood to use for trees. So like what we do in all of them, we're just going to do a rough plan by marking out where we want our branches to be. And then once we've done that, we can go on from there. So I've used some platforms, some fences and some walls as well to add a little bit more texture. And I'm just messing around at the moment using some shard wall. And I don't really think it looks too good. And hmm, yeah, I think I should actually use some gray paint. So I'm going to add that on now. The whole point of doing these trees and showing you how to make them is so that you can kind of experiment on your own. And there we go. Now we're going to start working on the leaves. For the leaves, I'm going to be using Living Rich Mahogany Leaf and also Deep Red Paint. So, like how I do with most of my trees, I'm just going to start by marking out rough selections of how I want my leaves to look. Like what I do with most of my trees, I like to add some small branches on the side just to give a little bit more colour towards the bottom. So, I'm going to put a branch here and I'm also going to put a platform on the side. I'm not really a fan of that one, so that's how... Yeah, that looks a lot better. Now, I'm also going to put some leaf at the bottom. Just there. There we go. Now, let's continue. So, I'm going to start hammering around, just adding a bit more shape and life into the whole, well, tree. So, that doesn't really look too natural. So, we're just going to mess around until we have something nice, and then we're going to fill in with all of our walls, like this. So, now we want to fill in all of this, and once you've done that, you've got quite a nice tree. It's quite basic towards the leaf shape, but to the actual stalk, it's really effective and I love it. Now it's time to show you the palette that I've made. It's quite a simple one, only needing seven different types of blocks and seven walls. It's really effective for all of your corruption and crimson builds. Yes, it works in both. I've tried to make it as simple as possible and easy to get in pre-hard mode, but sadly, spooky wood is a hard mode item, so it's a little bit harder to get. You're also not going to be needing that many things, but you're going to make sure that all the woods that I'm using, all three of these, rich mahogany, ebon wood, and spooky wood, all painted orange. 
For the bricks, you want your crimstone brick and also your ebonstone brick to be painted gray. You want your green brick to be painted white. And there you go. Now, I made this in about 10, 20 minutes using this palette. And I'm also going to do a quick time lapse up here showing you what you can do. So this is what I've managed to come up with in about 20, 20 minutes roughly, I guess. So I'm just going to add a little bit of more stuff and then you're pretty much done. It's a really simple way to make nice crimson or corruption builds. Just this palette is quite effective overall. Now, welcome to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that these build tips have inspired you or helped you create some builds. We've covered some wonderful things and some really easy things to build. I really hope you have enjoyed this video as well and if you have and you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. I do try to upload a bit more than I used to and it's quite hard to get these out and come up with new ideas. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.